Hey, AJ, uh, just, just uh, how difficult maybe was the memory of that first game against the Texans? I know you got hurt, a loss, and maybe how good, how much are you looking forward to playing those guys again under better circumstances, hopefully? Yeah, man, uh, it was a tough deal for me, uh, that game. You know, I got a little banged up. Um, it was just tough conditions, you know, uh, <clears throat> not just for me, just for the, the, the entire game. You know, it started pouring down hard raining. You know, it kind of forced us to run the ball. You know, it made it real difficult to, to throw the ball in that type of weather, in those conditions. But, you know, we playing in, in a dome, so there's no conditions. You know, hey, we just playing football. We just, we're going to, you know, come prepared and just hopefully play our best. Paul. Hey, Jay, there's a, uh, if you have more than five receptions in a game, the team's 11 and two. I'm, I'm wondering if you're aware of how your numbers uh, connect to, to wins and, and what that means to you. I'm not aware, uh, to be honest. Um, I try to make the most of my opportunities, you know. Um, it was some growing pains as, as a young receiver, you know, me wanting the ball, but but sometimes, like as, as I mature, sometimes I got to clear clear it out for the other guys. You know, as long as we we get wins and, and we doing what we're supposed to do, I don't mind. Now, if we lose and I, I'm not getting the ball or something like that, then I'm gonna feel like uh, I could have did better. I could have did a better job with, with whatever I had. So, you know, it's a level of maturity um, with me growing up in this league and knowing sometimes it, it, it it's not all about me. You know, I got to clear it out. I may may get a lot of attention, but I got to clear it out sometimes for my for my guy. Yeah, and I'll do that in a heartbeat. Kayla? Yeah, AJ, um, first of all, just what has it been like having Derek back in the house? Um, and second of all, how have you guys really maintained the focus this week with so much attention on him returning? Uh, we got to do our job no matter what. We're, we're glad uh, to see him back out there on the field with us. Uh, I don't know if he plays this week or whatever, but um, – we got to do our job and we got to, we got to play no matter who's out there. If he goes this week, we're, we're glad. If he don't, we still got to play. So uh, that's our mindset. You know, uh, we not too, we, we getting excited, but we're not getting, getting carried away. You know, we still got to play football at the end of the day with or without him. Teron. AJ, you had mentioned, you know, sometimes you got to clear it out for your guy or, or for the other guys. Uh, the, the, the thing with you and Julio Jones, you know, how is he coming along just as far as, uh, being able to have that that impact that that you guys you, you know had expected to have when when he was acquired. Um, ask your question again. I'm sorry, I can't hear the door here. Okay. I said, as far as like having to clear it out for other guys, that you know, Julio Jones, uh, how has he come along, and and you guys actually working in tandem, you know, how has that come along, um, as far as getting to the point where you guys wanted it when he was first acquired. You know, whenever me and him on the field at the same time, you got to acquire both of us. You got to you you got to point up pointers out, you know, and that's and that's what the defense does. They they point us out and they say eleven, they say two, you know, and they got to count for it. So um, clearing out, doing what I got to do. Sometimes I'm a decoy, which is which is totally fine. Sometimes he's a decoy, and, and which is totally fine to him because um, he's very selfless, and I so am I. Um, just doing our job, you know. Um, just understanding the, the entire concept, not just it, just not just you running your route for you. You you know you, you may have to have a pick and rub here uh, for another guy. So um, just a level of maturity, a uh, level of selfless, you know, in our room, you know, and especially on our team. So John Glennon. Hey AJ, I, I don't want to jinx anyone, but uh, you know there haven't been a lot of games, you know, where, where you guys have had yourself, uh, Julio and, and Derek, all healthy together going into a game. Uh, you know, maybe looking down the line, certainly into the playoffs, um, you know, what would it mean to have you guys uh, ready, uh, you know, and, and all healthy uh, together again? Uh, it'll mean, it'll mean a lot, especially for, for our offense, you know, uh, uh, those are guys you, you got to account for when you line up, like I said. So uh, just having Derek back there in the backfield, because, you know, I know he's ready to go. He's excited, you know, having Julio outside me outside and just, just having guys just healthy, you know, ready to go. You know, I feel like the sky's the limit for this offense. You know, we could do anything we want to. We can move the ball, do whatever. You know, we're trying to put it all together, you know. So hopefully we can get everything um, when it's time, you know, so we'll be ready to go. Terry. 
AJ, with all that's at stake this week, what's kind of been the focus and the focal point of practice? Because you guys can nail down that number one seed uh, if you go out there and take care of business on Sunday. Um, it hasn't been too much too much talk about the number one seed around here. Uh, at least I haven't heard. Uh, but it's just about taking care of business, winning this game. You know, we, I, they just haven't been talking about the number one seed, worrying about next week, worrying about uh, – getting that by next week. It's about handling business this week. That's all we've been talking about, handling business, taking care of this game, and then we let the chip fall where they may. We're going to let the playoffs be the playoffs, but right now we got one more season, I mean, one more game to, to handle business. A couple more for you. Joe Rexford. Uh, what would it mean, though, AJ, just knowing if you guys win, you do earn that extra time, you know, more time for the team to rest and all that, prepare, basically move, you know, move on an extra round into the playoffs. Like, what, what would that do for this team? Um, it, it would give us, uh, like, it's, like you said, time to rest, time to recover for guys to come back and get, get, get more healthier. You know, it's a, it's a, it'll be a new season in the playoffs, and we all know that. Um, that's why we just got to take care of our business. But, but I, like I said, it, it hasn't been no playoff talk. We, we're keeping it one game at a time, and, and, and our focus is Houston this week, not next week, the bye week, or none of that. It's been behind the business this week, and we're going to let the chips fall where they may. Last question, Glennon. Yeah, AJ, I was, I was curious, uh, in the first couple of years, uh, certainly your your yards after the catch, one of your big strengths, and I know you ranked right up there near the top of the league. Uh, this year, the, the numbers haven't been the same in, in that. I wonder if there's anything that comes to mind for you um, as to as to a change in that department. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I mean, I missed like four or five games, so, <laughs> right. you know, <laughs> you got to account for that. <laughs> but, uh um, to be honest, I, I I don't know. Um, you know, uh, I got changed around. I got changed to a different position. Um, uh, so I don't, I don't really know. Uh, they put me in different different areas. Uh, and some some of the times do be tougher to get yards after the catch. But you know, um, as you see, sometimes I do break away. But you know, like I said, it's, it, it gets tougher when everybody accounts for you, and everybody's watching you. So. You, uh, I, I don't think too much into it. I'm just playing my game, and you know, and and like I said, whatever happens, happens. Let the chips fall where they may. But I'm trying to do my job, you know. Most definitely, I try to break tackles and do whatever I do. But uh, but if it's time to uh, to go down, I have to go down.